Hello, I'm going to be teaching the pinnacle coupling reaction in this video. This reaction was discovered by Wilhelm Rudolf Fittig in 1859. So this is a coupling reaction, a homocoupling reaction usually, meaning that there are two identical fragments being combined with the help of a metal catalyst. The other kind of coupling reaction is heterocoupling or cross-coupling, which occurs with different partners, like such, and is generally more common. For the general pinnacle coupling, an aldehyde or a ketone will combine with itself using radical chemistry to produce a vicinal diol. Vicinal meaning the functional groups are bonded to two adjacent carbon atoms, like this. This type of reaction is called pinnacle because one of the products that can be produced is a pinnacle compound, or 2,3-dimethylbutane-2,3-diol. In this video, I will be showing the mechanism for 2,3-diphenylbutane-2,3-diol but it is almost the same as pinnacle, except the second one uses acetone as the starting material. This reaction utilizes radical chemistry. The first step is benzaldehyde reacts with magnesium. If you remember, magnesium has two valence electrons, so it acts as an electron donor here. Now one of these electrons is used to form a bond between the magnesium atom and the oxygen on the benzaldehyde. So we draw that with a half arrow. That causes one of the bonds in the carbonyl group to break, shown by another half arrow down to the carbon atom. Now this is the product, and as we can see, the magnesium still has an electron. This molecule then reacts with another benzaldehyde, and we see the same reaction. The electron on the magnesium attacks the oxygen, and once again the carbon gains another electron. And so in the product of this reaction, we see that the oxygen is now bonded to the magnesium, now we have free radicals on the carbon atoms, so through radical combination, a new bond will be formed between the carbon atoms. After that, we have this weird structure without any free radicals, but we're not done yet. Next, this reacts with NH4+. This bond breaks, and the oxygen forms a bond with the hydrogen from a proton donor. I'm using ammonium here, but hydronium also works for this reaction. This reaction with ammonium happens again with the second oxygen atom. And finally, you get the final product, 2,3-diphenylbutane-2,3-diol. And that's it. That's the whole mechanism. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. Okay, bye!